In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create chart logic with analog points. We've imported a chart named Fuel Monitor. The chart has the logic laid out for us, so it'll save time in drawing the blocks and connection lines, but it doesn't have any commands yet. While we're here, click anywhere in the drawing area and then press the F key on your keyboard. Your chart is centered. For more shortcuts, click here on the bottom of the page to see a full list. There's our F key, zoom to fit, and center. Let's review what we'll be programming. We'll read the fuel tank level. It'll range from 0 to 10,000 gallons, simulated with the Learning Center's control knob. Check if the fuel level is below 1,000 gallons. If it is, set a flag or a variable to indicate the fuel level is low. Typically, you'd have some other event act on this flag change, such as sending an email or updating a database. Add a reasonable delay before reading the fuel level again and repeat the process. If it's not low, clear the flag, add a delay, and read the fuel level again. Let's add the instructions. Double-click the Read Fuel Tank Level block. Click Add and then Select. The Move command is in the Miscellaneous group, and you can use it to move the value of one object to another. Click OK. You're going to move a value from an analog input, Fuel Level Pot, to a new float variable that you'll name Fuel Level Reading. By storing an I.O. value in a variable, you can reference it instead of the I.O. every time you need it. Communication time is reduced between the controller and the PC, such as for Groove View or Pack Display. Click OK and a window pops up asking if you want to create the new variable. Click Yes. We see the name of the variable and the type that we defined. Leave the default Initialize on Strategy Run and leave the default value of 0. Click OK to create the variable, and click OK to finish adding the move instruction. Then click Close to close out the action block. Double click Is Fuel Level Low Condition block. Click Add and then Select. From the Logical group, find the Less command and click OK. For the Is parameter, choose Float Variable and Fuel Level Reading. Compare it to another float variable, which we'll call fuel level low limit. Click OK. Create the new variable, and this time initialize it to 1000 to represent 1000 gallons as a low limit for our fuel tank. Click OK to create the variable. Click OK and then close. If the fuel level red is less than 1000, We'll exit true from the condition block and set a flag variable to true. Double-click the block. Click Add and Select. Choose the logical group. Find the set variable true command. Click OK. Set the type to integer 32. Type fuel low flag. Click OK and create the new variable. Leave all of the defaults and click OK and OK again. What the set variable true command is doing is actually setting the flag variable to equal 1. Close the block. Now we're exiting false from the condition block so the fuel level isn't low and we're going to set the flag to false or 0. Go back into the block we just programmed and copy the command. Paste it into our other block and modify it. Change the instruction to set variable false. Click OK and close. We'll finish up by adding delays. How often you repeat instructions depends on what you're monitoring or controlling. Double click one of the delay blocks. Add the delay millisecond instruction. That was in the timing group. And set it to delay medium, the 100 millisecond delay. In reality, you'd want a longer delay. Before leaving the instruction block, copy the delay command. Close the block and paste the delay instruction in the other delay block. 
close the block. We've got to do one more thing in order to run this chart. We need to add a start chart command to the power up chart. Open the power up chart and go into the start charts block. Copy and paste the prior start chart command and modify it. Change the chart to fuel monitor and click OK and then close. I'm going to click on my fuel monitor chart tab and I'm ready to start debugging. You've finished adding instructions to this chart using analog I.O. and variables. Your next step will be to test out the logic in debug mode.